What's good, y'all? It's Chef Scooter, and we're gonna talk about these bomb desserts I got going. But before we get into that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and comment. And let's get it popping. So today, y'all, I got some delicious, some sweet, fluffy, puffy, crispy, everything you need in a dessert, y'all. So we got the strawberry fresh lemons. We got the mangoes. I have Chinese fire spice. This is like, this is my baby, y'all. This is my special ingredient. Also, I gotta have my cinnamon. It's cinnamon in there, but you know, it's a dessert. We love cinnamon and sugar. And I also have powdered sugar to sprinkle on top at the end. And I have just regular grain, granulated sugar. It's with some whipped cream cheese, butter. You won't need a lot and puff pastry. And so you guys, with this dessert, I like to do things simple. Sweet. I like to keep my desserts very light. I love flakiness when it comes to dessert. So I'm just gonna show y'all how we get it going. And before we just get into my dessert, I want I want to talk about my first guest. Mind y'all, I do have three people coming today. So, but the first guest, me and this brother met about a year or so ago. We did my birthday shoot. He's a bomb photographer. This guy is lit in the city of Dallas, he in the crew. My brother, Johnny B, let's talk about it. Let's get into these desserts. What's going on, my brother? What's up? You doing what's good? Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're going to be on this side. Be and on so this side. what we're going to do today, we're going to prep. Okay. So one thing about doing desserts and when you're cooking, I want y'all to understand about mise en place. Mise en place is a French word. And basically, bro, what mise en place is, mise en place is just to put in place. It kind of sounds like meats in plots, like in place. So uh, it's like, uh, uh, you know, place. it's, it's yeah, the same yeah. thing. We put them in place. Okay. So for a successful dessert, we're going to get our knife sharp. So the first thing first, y'all know I love holding my knife. I'm going to hold my knife and we're going to dive into these strawberries. And what I'm going to do, Johnny, Yeah. I'm going to cut up these strawberries. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do, mm -hmm. when I cut them, you can just rinse it. And I'm going to make sure I get a nice dice. Mm -hmm. Dice on us. And so we just gonna go from there. So you we want me to do what? I'm gonna get you to rinse it okay. once I'm done. So you can't just wash your hands. And while I'm prepping this, we'll go deeper into it. All right. So what's one? Of, what's some of your favorite desserts that you like to eat? Anything sweet, really? <laughs> anything sweet. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat anything. Whatever, where it comes from, baklava is good. I never had that before until recently. That was baklava, crazy. Yeah. yeah, the flakiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have in it? I don't even know, but it's like it's like a puff pastry kind of thing. And we if are, we correct, doing it's kind of similar to this. Okay. You can make a baklava. A what? Baklava. baklava. Well, I'm country, so y'all look. Baklava. <laughs> I'm messing with my accent. <laughs> I'm from Memphis, but um, this dessert. It's similar to baklava, like, that, that do sound kind of weird. When I yeah. <laughs> Took me a second, I was like, hold on, let me like, catch what it. what you say? It's like a, a, I guess a Greek pop tart, maybe, you could say. Right. All right, so. And see, the Greeks, they love puff pastry. And one of my favorite Greek dishes, I don't know if you heard of spinach copita. Mm -mm. It's like a spinach pie, and they use this exact spinach same pie? puff pastry. Is it sweet? No, it's not sweet, it's savory. Okay. But it's like a, a lot of Greek people, they eat it. And I did a Greek fest a few years ago. Yeah. And I just assisted and like, I did it just to learn, you know, new culture. And bro, it changed my life. I didn't hear my sweet tooth until I was older. When I was a kid, I always liked savory, so. You know, to this day, I really don't care for dessert, so. Yeah? Yeah, like, I don't like heavy things. And just growing up, most desserts that you know we eat, it be so heavy. Yeah. It be overly sweet, processed Too much. tasting. Yeah. So stuff like this, especially for people that just you want something healthy. Y'all know I'm big on doing something healthy, but I just want y'all to you can have some comforting, but not feel so guilty. And this kind of yeah. what I'm doing here. I feel like everything that you make is kind of along those lines. Like it looks like a guilty pleasure. Right. But, but if you really not. break it down, it's like, actually, that's all good for you. It just looks bad. Right. Because it's so good, you know? So <laughs> that's that's something that's like, I feel like that makes you unique because you're not just making the same stuff everyone else is. Right. And on top of that, it's like the ingredients that you use 
I always see like you like you break it down like what you're using the freshness and then also the spices and yeah it's interesting because you actually seem like you know what you're doing Man, and, I, I know I know a little you know? Something. I know a little yeah something. and you know why you're doing it that's probably the main thing it's just all about learning about like how you want your stuff prepared yeah and how you like to enjoy your food like I told you on the other episode with the mangoes you want to glide that knife literally right under that skin you see that you're lefty yeah I am so it might look a little off but I get the job done yeah I get the job done for sure but Mangoes, I'm not, I'm like with any kind of food, I just want people to learn like minimize waste. Right. You cut things, you don't have to be in a rush. I'm doing this at this speed because I know what I'm doing. But like other people, just take your time and glide your knife under your skin. Glide it. It's not that hard, just glide it. Glide it right under your hood. You got a nice mango. So. I'm finna finish these mangoes up and we're gonna get this fruit compote going that we're gonna mix in with the whipped cream and we'll talk about the next phase coming up soon. Alright, so we got the strawberries cut, bro. Can you chop this up for I mean, I'm saying chop. Watch these up for me. I got you, I got you. <laughs> and I'm gonna just make sure I do a quick dice on the mangoes. And for this dessert, you guys, just make sure y'all put a little texture in there. It don't gotta be a perfect cut. I like for you to actually know what you eat and get a feel of it, so you don't need it to be like too small. I want you to see what you're eating, and I'm just gonna always just mush the fruit together. Like, no, I need y'all yeah, well, to know. You when you got the chunks in there, it's like, yeah, I know this is real. This is a real mango, yeah, like, not frozen, fresh. And so, this is gonna be a quick one. And if you can't, you get that pop for me, bro. Gotcha. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this butter. Let me put this back. Just take a little butter. And what I'm gonna do is take a tablespoon. You don't need much. You just need one tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna put that in at the bottom. With you the know, fruit? Okay. With the fruit. Yep. We're doing it big, you know, good butter. Butter and real dessert butter. go bomb together. Yeah. It's the real stuff. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do maybe like uh about two, four. Four sprinkles, <laughs> four sprinkles of the five spice and maybe about a teaspoon huh, huh, of cinnamon. Huh, huh, huh. And That's so, about seven sprinkles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so with the with the fruit. I'm gonna take half of this. We we'll got half a cup of sugar. So we're gonna do like half a cup of sugar with no water, zero water. Do not add water. Why? Water is gonna make it loose. And with this, we kind of like making a thick compote, you guys. And uh, just okay, so it kind of dilutes the like sugary syrup kind of thing. Yeah, it's thing. like it's water in the fruit. So once the heat get on the fruit, yeah, it'll build it, and so you don't want like a loose. Yeah, yeah. You don't like to bite in it and it be all watery. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get this going and start this up. Cool. Put it on like a medium heat. Nothing too nothing too crazy. So we're gonna let that go. Mm -hmm. And while this going, I'm gonna take the juice of one lemon. My bad, this one a bit. Is that supposed to happen? It wasn't supposed to happen, but we're gonna still make it. Yeah. Work. So I'm gonna just take the juice of one lemon. Seeds going everywhere. So we got the juice of one lemon. Okay. And our fruit are going. So we're gonna let our fruit cook down and we'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we have our compote that we just made. It's a little bit loose. So, what I'm gonna do, bro, to pick me up, just what I'm doing. What is that? It's a little corn sauce. Just a, just a little bit. I'm not gonna do a lot. Maybe a teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon. Why you put that in there? Yeah, it just gonna help pick me up. Oh, okay. 
when this thing's extremely, extremely hot. Imagine if you did put the water in there. Bro, this would be literally juice. Right. So from here, this next step, if you want to, you can take this. Okay. And I'm gonna put a spoon in here. Spoon, and you can spoon that into this bowl. All of it? Yep. Whipped cream cheese, by the way, y'all. It's, it's some good stuff. So, from here, what I'm gonna do, just to make things easier, I'm just gonna try to get the fruit pieces in there. You wanna use the string? No, I'm because I'm gonna use that fucking powdered sugar at the end. Oh, gotcha. We don't dust our pastries with sugar, but, and then I don't know how loose it's gonna be. So I kind of want to have this reserved like fruit sugar juice, just for you know. At the end, you can actually blend it up, I and if want you to want to, you can. You actually don't need to try it down. It's no rules. Like the kitchen is your kingdom. So whatever y'all, when y'all whip me something at home, eat as you go. You do it how you taste want. It. You should taste it. You really should. Right. right. And that's a lot of problem with like a lot of cooks. They cook food and they just go buy a recipe or something and they don't really necessarily like actually taste as you go and like. Cause nothing in, in, in food and cooking is like exactly the same every time, right? Cause you could get some variations of like, I don't know, sweetness in a, in a certain mango or something like that, right? Right, so certain got, ripeness and so you got the taste time of the year. It's a lot of factors that play into it. Right. But since we have this mix up, you can keep mixing it up for me, bro. Gotcha. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get everything set up with this puff pastry that I can. This is a stick baking pan. And I'm just gonna open my puff pastry up. What's the consistency you want? I just want to get a little bit smoother, so just okay. keep like whipping it up. You made this before? I made something similar to it. You can right. add, you can like change the, the fruits and stuff in it, right? Definitely. This is something you can alternate and switch and make it your own. Mm. Okay, is that good? Let's see. I'm gonna show you how you fix this. Y'all see this? It was at room temperature. I'm gonna show you how to fix it in a second. So sometimes when you cook, this is what it shows if you're a real chef. You might get your puff pastry and you might leave it out too long. So this is what we're going to do. We're going in for now. So those are ready to go? The, uh, the, the pastry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is ready to go. It's laminated. And when this goes in the oven, it's going to cook up so nice for it. What you mean by laminated? Laminated just means it's layered in butter. So oh. the, the layers of butter and puff pastry, yeah. that's what helps out like with the rising, how it puffs up, like you'll see once we get done. Gotcha. So we're gonna take that, give me some of that. This is gorgeous by the way. Do a good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna spoon this in. Is this one whole pastry or are you gonna like break it up? This gonna be like a look. Look, empanada type of okay. thing. So what I'm gonna do, don't over stuff it, people, please. Don't over stuff it. We're gonna fold this over. And I'm gonna take my fork. And I like to cook crappy. Oh, I got you. We gonna, what? We just gonna go across. We're gonna go across with a nice, we we'll give it a nice fork. We want it to look good. That ends up being the crust part, right? Yeah, we, and basically what we doing, this is also to seal it. So once it bakes and puts open, you don't want all the goodness inside to be coming out. Are you gonna like cut a hole or something on the top? No. For real? No hole. Okay. But I'm gonna fork it. Ah, <laughs> ah, okay. So Some that's fence. what we're gonna do. And what I do for presentation with that, I trim off the edges. So I take that edge. Oh, I see. Okay. Take that. It that makes it look from homemade to professional. Exactly. 
one of them. And then you this actually okay. in this ring. And I'm gonna do this next one. And I'm gonna need some more of that fruit, oh, yeah. fruit stuff. What is the feeling called? Just feeling? This is just basically like a cream, kind of like a cream cheese compote. It's, it's a cream cheese compote. Yeah. It's really not that many ingredients either. And it's a simple thing. Like, people think to make good food that you need a lot of ingredients. You need to make it complicated. Yeah. You can take, what do we use? Free fruit, sugar, some cinnamon and spices, got powdered sugar and dough. Are these necessary though? Like, if you didn't have these, could you still make that without? <laughs> Sorry, the spices. With, uh, without the spices, you can't do it. It's all on your taste buds. Like oh, said. okay. Some people don't like cinnamon, so you know you're not like a cinnamon type person. You can replace it and use lemon, you can use all spice. Okay. But with those type of ingredients, you need to make sure that you don't overdo it because they're very, very strong to the right. palate. And you don't want to eat nothing that's doing too much. Right. You don't nobody want to deal with nothing that's too much. So we got our pastries and we're going to take this and put them out of the You're going to fork those ones? Oh, yeah. There you See, go. you got me. I got you. I got you. Fork it. And it's gonna go in our oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And you guys, when we get back, I will be introducing my next two guests that's coming through. We got two dope musical artists, and I'll see y'all in a second. All right, while we got these bone pastries in the oven, I'm gonna introduce y'all to two more guests. These are recording artists. They got the city lit, Dallas popping. I was in the studio with them last night, bro. Yeah, okay. You just gotta finish that verse. You wanna do a second song after this? More nitty gritty one? Yeah. Something with some like actual like mm -hmm. substance. But. Drop, drip, on, uh, just like peachy. Smoky sauce, sauce. I've been getting to the wild. You could call me a young boss. Hey. I know. They, you you know them. They whipped up some magic. So we got recording artists Colin Gibbons and Six Four Panda coming through. What's good, y'all? What's, What's good, good, good chef? What it do, Panda? <laughs> What's up, Chef? What it do, Connor? My good, brother. Man. Great to see you, my Let's man. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. So. This let's talk about the chef school. So let's talk about what y'all got going on, bro. So shit, man. Yeah, yeah, currently right now, uh, I'm actually getting ready to go on tour with Lil Tracy. Okay. Um, so that's happening in the beginning of July. So uh, all this next month is just really uh, tour prep, getting you know the show actually orchestrated and uh, my whole entire performance all like curated and fully put down. And uh, while also in the meantime, I'm also working on this follow-up project. I had just dropped my latest album, which was The okay. Show Must Go On, which also features my boy 64 Panda on the project, the one and only feature on the project. Okay. Um, yes. And uh, yeah, man, so I'm really just working on new music right now, uh, lining up new moves, and shoot, man, getting ready for this tour, bro. This was so dope. So, no yeah, 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 I Look appreciate crazy. you so much. Bro, like, thank this you. This is not, I appreciate y'all for being here, bro. So, uh, Panda, what's up? What's up, Think about people in YouTube land. You, you put you giving me information about you too, the other day, so. Oh yeah. Tell me where can they find you? What you got going on? Okay, What's so up? yeah, so my name is Six Four Panda, uh, Six Four P A N D Q. Um, I do have a YouTube channel, Panda Clan University. Okay. And it's all just art, just curated of any kind of under my umbrella. We got music, we have friends who paint. Sculpt, whatever, we're in the EDM scene, rock scene, rap scene, everywhere. They do everything, and literally every genre. Like I, I like DJing alone at the time. We make we make pop punk alternative rock hip hop hip hop music. Um my favorite genre is house music, but Okay. You know, I'm making rock music. I like everything. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean. And you know music and food go hand in hand. Yes. Cause like just seeing 
yesterday, like with the building of the beats and how everything came together. It just kind of made me think about just how you build upon the recipe. You take your time, you take one thing, and you just add on, you layer it. You add all these different layers of beats, then you lay your vocals down. Right. Then they just throw everything together. It's, it's like literally being in the kitchen, so. All the different ingredients. Right. Shake so it, it up, mix a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's different, but then. if you don't like it, take it out, switch it up, yep. change it up. You might can't yeah. do it with certain dishes, but it's dope. Probably, like, man, I'm proud of you, man. Also, I really just want to appreciate you for having us on this, man. Like, uh, it's an honor and a privilege and a blessing, bro. So, thank you majorly. Yeah, that's like my first like, walking in my car, y'all. Like, whatever. So, what, what inspired you? I want to ask you. What inspired you to like, you know, what I'm saying, finally get this like going, yeah. going for yourself? It, honestly, it's it's just it was time. This is something. This is something that I've always wanted to do. It's something that I've always dreamed about. Like, I knew I was a great chef. Like, you know, I knew I knew how to cook and this and that. But when I sit there and I'm like, this past like year or two, really since the pandemic started, I actually sit there and I thought about me as a child and like, what made me happy? What was the original dream? And I thought about it and I was like, okay. When I had my first like vision of the future, it was like watching Emerald Lodassi. So like, Emerald Live, I don't, most, I don't know if y'all seen it, but bam. Emerald Live, bam! Like, Emerald Live, dude, you never like, seen that. Oh, it's a bro. <laughs> the best lie. cooking show ever. And like the personality, the boo, 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 all that. I love all the craziness. And I thought about it and I was like, okay, I'm like, I know I'm much more than a chef. Like, what else can I do? Like, and I was like, damn, I know people who do this, people who do that, people who do this, do that, all these different crowds. And I'm like, wow. I just, you know, get out of my comfort zone and start talking to people, interviewing, we can talk, cook food, show y'all a little something, something, eat some food, y'all talk about what y'all got going on, talk about what I got going on, so it birthed it this, so we, we talking about it, so. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> Johnny B, man, what, what, what you been up to? I haven't seen you in like, a minute, my friend. Like, what's the deal? Like, it's all. Oh, it sound like the pastry's ready. Oh, videos and music. Oh, yeah. Come and get it five more minutes, y'all. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was watching you cook. I was watching y'all cook that up, man. Those look amazing. Bro, wait I, smell. I can't smell. wait to, like. Literally, y'all, I wish y'all could smell this kitchen right now. Like, before they even. <laughs> it's really like, like, I got <laughs> like, literally, take the moment in, like, because it's. It's just the fruit, <laughs> yes. the flour, the butter, yes. just everything, like, it's a vibe, so. Yes. Yeah. You got fruit pockets in there. Oh, fruit, fruit pockets? Fruit pockets. <laughs> it's basically, it's like a hot pocket, but it yeah. makes sense. It, it, it kind of looks like a little bad. ravioli. Yeah. It's like a puff. Once you see how it puff up, you're gonna be like, oh shit, like, it's gonna be good. Anytime I think of ravioli, I think of the Campbell's soup when it like rolls down the hill in the course. <laughs> and it's that. <laughs> and no, it's like, well. <laughs> Bro, yes. And oh course, my gosh. And like back to y'all music. Yeah, man. Who would inspire y'all to do what y'all do? Um, shoot, man. There's like a nice little catalog of people um, outside of just like my best friends I work with that uh, just kind of help me like inspire myself and like they give me the inspiration too like just how hard they work and like their work ethic and like okay. the fine. way they move like it kind of just like to, like kind of like this uh, saying uh, to like catch up or get left and like I'm not trying to get left so I try to keep it up but as far <laughs> as like outside influences really like people always get like sprung when I say this but one of my biggest inspirations is actually Justin Bieber okay um, okay, okay. And like, uh, so really I just was like, I saw how he like came up out of nowhere. When he was actually like the first person in my opinion to like lay the blueprint down and like blowing up on the internet. Cause like, that was, he in my eyes was the first one to really like achieve that. And so. <laughs> After Soulja Boy though. Okay. You know, look, look. I mean, I okay. For that. I, was I mean, for that. okay, <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. The beeps had a different one, had a different kind of come up though. I feel like Soldier was kind of already in like the scene already, like. Yeah, like, yeah he, he, he was like the first. Like, he was the first, song. I guess. Like, it was like that Walmart now. Shout out to Soldier Boy. Yeah. Started started somewhere nowhere and then. Yeah. And Walmart then boom. Yeah, up, yeah, exactly. Because like yeah. I feel like Soldier was already kind of like tapped in. Like you right, know what I mean? Right, right. He was like he was already scene, exactly. Like Beebs was just on like. A stairs strumming a guitar yeah. and like so That's someone like so happened to find a video and mm -hmm. like yeah and just yeah, like, 
Uh, it was like Scooter Braun actually. He was like, it was like uh, his manager, and then he like yeah locked him in with like Usher, which is actually yeah. funny because like Usher and Justin Timberlake were actually like arguing over like who's gonna sign him. him. Yeah, oh. who's gonna get him. Mm. Um, he makes though. Oh, appreciate <laughs> Wait, that, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. man, re really yeah. like that's one of my like biggest inspirations alongside like Post Malone, uh, Lil Uzi, um, okay. Poor Stacy, shoot. Uh, Man, Lil Peep, uh, Lil Tracy, which is like so ironic that now I like finally get to like, I don't know, I'm going on a tour with station. him. Yeah, you know, like, so to me it just like blows my mind because I've like been looked up to him for some years now. So it's like to be like a part of that is like such a surreal and beautiful experience, man. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. what about you though, man? I'd say, yeah, aside from like the people that I have like close relations with, people uh -huh. that I kind of looked up to at a young age, people that I are, like I see them succeeded already. So. From from when I first you know found out who they were, I was like, all right, I, if I want to do that, then I can do it. If I just do it like how they do it, mm -hmm. you know, so like, or along those lines in a right. way, you know, just taking into consideration what they did and how it impacted people, and just like, okay, how can I do that but like not, you know, mess up, right? You know what I mean? Um, but like, yay, Kanye West, I think he's like he's the goat. That's my guy. Um, <laughs> that's my guy. Him play with Cardi, Blake One Eighty Two. I like Nine Seventy Five. I like ACDC, Dead Mouse, Marshmello, Skrillex. Those are like some like go tos, you know. Um, and like I, I have like freaking inspirations from all types of genres, you know. Because mm -hmm. I actually just really just want to make every anything. Like I want to make music with people. Like I, I like I listen to like K-pop and Japanese. I don't know what they're saying in a lot of. Stuff. You want to know something crazy? It's gas. I listen to Brazilian music when I work out. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't it's, know. It's the energy. Like. Yeah, it's like I don't know what they're saying, but just to, it's different the beat, the feel of it. Yeah. I like it. So yeah, yeah it's different. So yeah. I've really been wanting to make a, a K-pop song for like forever, but I don't have any. I don't have a friend that makes K-pop. You know. <laughs> That's, some, that's something I want to learn genuinely. Yeah, like like genuinely grow some. Yeah, I can. I want to make some heat. You know, like. I'm sure you can. Hey, Pop. Yeah. American Pop. I'm K, K Trap. You should trap, out, you should trap out some K Pop. Y'all. Oh, I can hit that. Oh. Hit hey, that. yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so if it's like, that's a million dollar that. idea. Oh, hey, y'all heard it yes, here. Y'all heard it here. It really is. That's just it really is. insane. I can't lie to you. getting some color on it, so. <laughs> we about to go and pull this thing out the oven yes. real quick, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be right back, y'all. So we got our pastries done. Look at that, baby. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Panda, you do me a favor, you'll grab me a plate. Yeah. That big plate on the bottom. And see, y'all remember that leftover juices? We can, uh, I'm gonna show you how I play and do a little mix. Them things look crazy, Chad. Yeah, dude. Appreciate it. That's a massive. You. That's a loaf. Nah, for this real. This is what we gonna do. What are we doing? Yeah, put us on game. Let's talk, talk about it. it. What are you about to do? Oh, it's not. We are about to look at this. Mm. So, yes. what we gonna do, we gonna do something quick and easy. I'm gonna just spoon a little bit of this. Okay. And that's all we cook. This one. Mm. It's like sugar ketchup. Sugar ketchup. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> you know what I'm Honestly, this I'm gonna just place that one right there. Okay. And we're gonna place it right there. So bougie. Yeah. Bougie as hell. I love it. Yes. And what we're gonna do with this point? The stuffing is I'm gonna take some. Food. I got some extra strawberries. Mm -hmm. I like odd numbers, so I'm just using five. Oh gosh. Oh man. Odd so, odd? Yes. <laughs> just fun, no, but for real, with food and just with I'm <laughs> catching people's eyes, odd numbers stick out. Okay. So, yeah, they piss me off. So I would they would stand out to me. Uh, this is five. Yeah, this is five. Okay, five is okay. At least it was like three. So, at this point, you guys. Yeah. Mm. I want to do that. You want to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 ye
I mean, kind of club though. So yeah, yeah. I was, you just to I was just going to town. I was just yeah beating the uh, yeah. the rim up. Now, someone had to. <laughs> yeah, someone else did. Saturday weekend just started. Right. Friday right. right. 13th just happened. Come on, now. Where's the picture? Only a couple hours ago. Only a couple hours ago. <laughs> Bro, the inside looks like fruit ham. It's good. Like, uh, and you can set that on the side. You put it in the sink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put it in the sink. Yep. Set it. Both put it in the sink. All right. Set it. And this. Thank you, Johnny B. No problem. Thank you. This is our final product. We have a mango strawberry. Cream cheese mm. empanada dessert, mm. you guys. Good golly, this should be great. We can taste this bad boy. I got one on the side, we don't taste. Mm. Mm. We just don't. Dang, look at that flake. Mm. Mm. Steaming like a volcano. That looks crazy. crazy. You can see something else in there. Yeah. Presentation look crazy, chef. Thank you. You guys, let's try. Let's let's see what we're working with. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, this, hot. Is, this is gonna burn the hell out of It's natural, mm. natural selection right now, man. Y'all, you got your. <laughs> oh man. I'm walking in. I'm scared. We're like eating a pie. <laughs> but it's not so. I'm not. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, but what y'all think? Aside from this shit being like Wait. smoldering hot, <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. This tastes amazing. The way it like flakes. Wait, I'm, I'm the way it just fun. like. Mm -mm. The flavor fun. palette is ridiculous. The too, is like, like, I can't Did you see mind. the bottom? No, I didn't flip it over. Flip like, it. you know oh, it's yeah. good when they oh. bottom get that good crisp. It's like a little biscuit. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. So, I feel like that was good. Oh my God. So I appreciate y'all <laughs> for showing up. It's good. It's hot. It's really we good. talked about it. We ate about it. We did dessert about it. I'm gonna leave my guest <laughs> info. <laughs> in the description box below this video. And we're gonna get into some more next time. I'll see y'all later.